Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir and Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman concluded their Go Vote tour today, marking their last day of the campaign trail. The day began in Pockville, Kentucky, where the dynamic duo was joined by almost the entire Democratic ticket, former Governor Paul Patton, and introduced by senior advisor Rocky Atkins. The election tomorrow is going to set the tone for the next four years, but I think the next several decades. We are on an economic win streak, the likes of which the Commonwealth has never seen. More new jobs, bigger budget surpluses, the opportunity to provide large raises for our educators. We are in a chance to do great things. Number two in per capita economic development in the country. Number three in creating rural jobs. We're four laning the mountain parkway. So much progress is being made. We've got to keep it going. Appalachian Wireless is making it so easy and affordable to stay connected to friends, family, and the world. With the Forward Pay Unlimited or Unlimited Plus plan, get $50 off any Forward Pay device. And don't forget, with Forward Pay, there are no credit checks or long term contracts. It's Forward Pay on the region's premier network. Appalachian Wireless. We get you because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Activation fee required. Discount applied at point of sale. A new poll released by Emerson College Polling revealed a tie race between Governor Andy Bashir and his opponent, Daniel Cameron. A poll is only as accurate as the electorate that they think will turn out. The only poll that matters is, is the uh, results on Tuesday. Listen, we're excited. We believe we go into this final day ahead because we see these crowds and this energy. People believing this isn't my campaign, it's our campaign because it's about a bright future for Kentucky. As the governor said, what we're trying to do is make sure that every Kentuckian thrives, make sure that every family has what they need so their children can do better, their life can matter, and they can live the way they want to live. So we're out here rallying the troops to get everyone to go out and vote tomorrow. After Pockville, the tour continued with stops in Prestonsburg, Moorhead, Lexington, and Louisville while they emphasized their administration's achievements, such as achieving the state's lowest unemployment rate in history, attracting $27.5 billion in new economic investments, and passing bipartisan measures like legalizing medical marijuana and sports betting. They also highlighted their calm and steady leadership during some of Kentucky's worst disasters. See, this campaign is the difference between us, we're running for something, and my opponent is running against someone. If all you have is negative things to say about somebody else, you're not the person to lead all of us into the future. I believe in every family, regardless of your registration and regardless of who you vote for, I promise I'll continue to be a good governor for you. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.